Like everyone else on this planet, our daily life has been turned upside down. And we likely spent our COVID vacation the way most of the world spent their COVID vacation, locked down and with few exceptions. It's been 13 weeks now since our lockdown began here in Guam. And it's how we spent our time that got us through this mess. While I might have whittled away a few extra hours watching my favorite YouTube channels, mostly sailing channels, my wife and I have spent as much time as possible living outside the bubble. What I mean by that is just that, looking for ways to keep our life from becoming mundane, not following all the hype, and staying cooped up in our condominium all the time. My opinion has always been that that's just not healthy. Guam, where America's COVID day begins. While it might look and feel like the United States, it is nothing like the U.S. From the road signs and traffic signals and the way the roads look, to the style of stores that line the street, you know what's the U.S. But it's not California or Florida, and it's not Hawaii. It's definitely tropical. While Guam might be unique and halfway around the world from its so-called guardian country, Governance here follows that of U.S. laws and the Constitution. The CDC, FDA, the USDA, and OSHA all have an applicable foothold here. I guess that's what makes it so American. During the COVID pandemic, Guam's leaders have leaned heavily on combined guidance from the CDC and the WHO, just like every state in the nation. And with all that comes all the same devastating economic destruction and all the confusion thereof. With all that in mind, Guam has proven to be a pretty good place to be. If you were to remain gainfully employed or in a retired status anyway, with a steady income. The restrictions imposed on the island's residents took its toll on the working class just like everywhere else around the world. The effects of which are still being felt. Because the lockdown here was not overly draconian, like say in the Philippines or even Michigan, island residents have been allowed to move about the island at will. This is not to say everyone was not encouraged to stay at home. We all were. We were, however, allowed to make our own decisions when it came to essential travel. In the Philippines, and because Terry and I are both over 60, we would be considered senior shut-ins, meaning we would not be allowed to leave the village and in some barangays, seniors are not even allowed to leave their home. On Guam, we could get in our car and drive. We could shop for essential items at will. The parks and beaches were never closed and remained open, although they were for individual use only. No groups or gathering were allowed. Masks and social distancing rules are applicable everywhere, and they still are, except in the open air where physical distancing was not an issue. The only curfew here imposed was for minors. Because the parks and beaches remained open for individual use, we spent much of our time outdoors there, getting our daily dose of fresh air and vitamin D and exercise. Oh, and there's that ever so important vitamin C. Because we had the freedom to travel, shop at will, and hit the beaches and parks, I would be hard pressed to call it a true lockdown. While some of our liberties here were curtailed, Life here during the pandemic has likely been more tolerable compared to many other places in the world. At least we would like to think so. I'd like to point out one thing though that was not affected by this pesky virus and that's speed traps. They never go away. On the personal side, with our summer trip to the Philippines on hold, we found many ways to keep ourselves occupied both at home and outdoors. Like many others, I entered the COVID rabbit hole and didn't come up for air for a long time. It consumed much of my time in the beginning. I put all blogging efforts aside as I had very little motivation to write. I just wasn't feeling the creativity any longer. But I did learn a lot. And the most important thing I learned was not to trust authorities on something they knew very little about. After just the first three weeks of the pandemic, Nothing about it felt right, and since then, I think the true victor is, is unfolding, for us anyway. Whether it be a pandemic or not, we have chosen not to participate in all the hype. 
We choose to live our lives to the fullest extent possible with the least amount of inconvenience. We learned early on to take full advantage of the things that we were allowed to do. So for the last month or so, we have been carrying on, mostly without our face masks, in the park, at the beach, and in the sun. And while things are slowly returning to normal, the damage to the world's economy and Guam's economy is becoming more apparent every day. It looks like the return to normal will still take some time, and until then, we've learned to cope pretty well. Unfortunately though, for some, normal will never return. While Terry stayed busy with some sewing projects and making face masks, I did my own thing. On the home isolation front, personally I've engrossed myself in a lot of YouTube videos. And yes, including some Bud Brown in the Philippines videos. I've also spent a good part of my evenings playing pool and drinking beer. <laughs> no, not in some bar, but online. I actually found out that I'm a pretty good pool player gaming wise. And if anyone watching this has gotten past level 2754 on the Android puzzle game Two Dots, please let me know. Piddling around with my stamp collection also gave me an added escape, allowing me to get lost in some old stamp art while sipping on a little wine. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of wine while listening to some old classic rock. And then there has been a few late night Netflix watching binges taking place as well. And no, we did not watch Tiger King. I've said all along that this COVID hype and panic will eventually be compared to the likes of a really bad sunburn. One that fades away slowly over time. How much time that takes though is really up to us, the collective freedom-loving people of the world. Should be charged here.